What's up, guys? This is W Drums live from my room in my house, and um, today we got another Skylanders Giants review, and this time we have yet another giant review, and this is one of the fire hotspot. Look at him. Look at that flame symbol in the back. Series 2 base. Look at him, man. Really nice molten lava design. And he glows from his uh, head. So, yeah. Chapter 15, Lost City of Arcus is what we're going to do. Alright, so first off, there's just stats um, right out of the box, regardless of the elemental power. So we need speed and armor greatly. So right away, I know exactly what hat I'm going to give him. Just got Look at that. So now we got the upgrades. Flame fire burst. Press A on the remote to shoot a burst of fire. Hold A to keep the flames going. Ah, uh, it's ridiculous. I, I can't say anymore because he's just amazing. Like I'm blown away at how powerful he is right out of the box. He was easy as heck to level up. Uh, oil blobs. Press B on the Wii remote to shoot a blob of oil that can get lit on fire for serious damage. It's probably the most humorous thing I've ever seen for a fire guy. I love it. I love the whole concept. Premium grade. Oil blobs and ignited oil blobs do increase damage. Sizzle shower. Press Z on the Wii remote to summon a rain of fire from the sky. Notice how his, uh, Shoulder pads, which I said in one of my unboxing video, I thought they were bombs. They're actually using oil canisters, and they spew oil out while at the same time he shoots fire to produce a reaction. It's freaking awesome. Turn up the heat. Flame burst gets even hotter and does increase damage. And extended forecast. Sizzle shower lasts longer and does increase damage as well. And for the path, I chose oil baron. So we've got firestorm. We have Sizzle Shower does maximum damage and covers a larger area. We have Oil and Fire. During a Sizzle Shower, press B on the Wii Remote to create an oily explosion catching enemies on fire. And we've got Hot with a chance of meteors. Hold Z on the Wii Remote to summon a gigantic meteor from the sky. Probably my favorite attack of all of the things he can do. That is just, it's fast too. It's not like you hold it down for like Trigger Happy's Yamamoto Blast. This thing's like couple seconds and boom you can just keep summoning it it's great and then his soul gem hot rod hold a and b on the Wii remote at the same time to transform into a long hot rod and um you get the soul gem in junkyard aisles and i i just gotta say it right now his soul gem is ridiculous because you hold a and b down constantly you keep driving as a motorbike so he doesn't even need to do speed heroics because he can already be fast on his own so I'm just excited in my mind to show you guys because I think he might be the strongest giant I have as of now. So there's his basic fire attack. Shoot oil blobs, they turn black so you can tell they're covered with oil. Light on fire for maximum damage. Now watch this. That's his bike. It keeps going like you can even kill things with it. Watch this. A little harder to turn there, but I mean, look at that. I love that. Let's do the uh, meteor shower. You hold B while doing it, and he spews out oil at the same time. Let's show that again. So he does two like spins of oil around the rain while it can still ignite. It's ridiculous. Now let's summon a meteor on this guy. You hold Z down. Boom. Done. Meteor. 
I really think either path you choose is going to be amazing. Like, I didn't know who to decide, to be honest, for the path was. Because, I mean, the flamethrower one, his hands turn into actual dragons. Like, I love that. And then the blobs of oil come to life. But at the same time, though, I just trust my gut. And I love it. I love this path. It's so awesome. Probably do the other path later, but right now I'm going to enjoy what I have first before I just switch it for everyone. You'll all find out in good time both paths, probably. So yeah, the fire is best when you shoot oil on someone, and they instantly will die a lot faster. See how big the meteor gets? You can hold it for a short amount of time. And then shoot it. Or you can hold it for a lot longer. And create this massive, like, sun. It's more effective, though, when they're covered in oil. Like, they'll die a lot faster. Look closely, his uh, shoulder pads light up too, like flame. I love that. So yeah, that is Hothead in a nutshell. I hope you guys enjoyed this review as much as I enjoyed filming him. Hands down, one of my, my favorite giants right now. Might be my top. So enjoy and get Hothead. Peace.